Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy Codextual, and it's been a very long while since I made a video. It's, uh, I, I haven't been on this platform. I've been on twitch.tv slash Codextual and kick.com slash Codextual. Come through, show your support, say what's up. Don't ask for technical support because that's annoying. I'm not your tech support guy. Whatever you get from this video is whatever you get. So, awesome. We're going to be talking about repairing an IMEI, but basically we're just changing it. So... Um, the benefits of changing your IMEI is if you are a piece of shit like me who hasn't paid off his device off fully, you're going to be locked towards that network and or that network could ban your IMEI from their network and other carriers networks as well. And so now you just have a paperweight phone to play Candy Crush on while you're taking the shitter. So there's that. Also, additionally, you're probably wondering if I change my IMEI, can that stop me from, can that stop the government from spying on me? Good fucking luck. So let's get this video rolling and let's get them bars rise again, brother. What I'm specifically going to be doing is I'm going to change the IMEI on my Night Gear, Night Gear, Net Gear, Nighthawk. MR 1100 and we're going to repair it and so I can use my one of my phones take the sim out put that sim in so we can generate an IMEI or we can use a legit IMEI from our phone and put it in our sim card and it's kind of horseshit that you can't simply take out your SIM card from your cell phone and put it in towards another cell phone or another device and use it as that. And it's kind of stupid, but um, here is my legal disclaimer. One, it's not illegal here in the United States of Yeehaw to change your IMEI, but if you were to take out your SIM card and put it in towards another device, your account might be flagged, suspended, banned. So I want that disclaimer to be known. Um, so once we do change our IMEI, it is highly important that you take out the SIM card from the device um, or before you put your SIM card into that new device, make sure the IMEI is changed on that device that you're 100% certain. Again, there's always that small factor that your account can be suspended. So if you have a family plan with all these other accounts and active lines, if you can make a different account and a whole new line by itself on that account, do that. So then there, uh, there's that factor is like, Hey, you know, that one account will just be banned, but it's not tied to this other account that has all my friends and families that are active on this account with all these plans. So I'm just throwing that out there. Don't sue me. I'm just letting you know now. But again, also, it's not illegal to change your IMEI, but also, um, again, in the United States of Yeehaw, it's not illegal, but check your jurisdiction and what country you reside in because it might be illegal. I just want to jump into the video of talking about how to do this. Then there's going to be more information at the end of the video that talks about having unlimited data with AT&T. I made an older video on about it. It's kind of deprecated. It still somewhat applies, but uh, I'll talk more about that at the ending of the video of how to get unlimited AT&T data. So in order to generate an IMEI, you can get this app. It's completely for free. And let's say, for example, that you want to generate the Samsung Galaxy S22, and this one's specific for AT&T, and we can just generate IMEIs, up to 25 IMEIs or even more if we wanted to. And so what about for iPads? Just for whatever reason, right? So. What we're going to do is get the TAC number, which is going to be the first eight digits of any IMEI um, device, right? Or any cell phone device. You get the first eight digits of the IMEI, and that is the TAC number. And so it's going to be 3558200. Zero, zero, and just generate away. 
Just make sure that you select one of these and you keep it safe. That you will write down this number and keep it safe somewhere. Because if you forget the IMEI for whatever reason, just to verify that you're the account owner or whatever, you know, you just want to make sure you have a backup of the IMEI that you have generated. And so it's pretty easy. Yeah, pretty straightforward app. So once you have generated an IMEI or have a legit IMEI from your phone or an iPad or whatever, right? Um, these are the instructions that you can do on your computer. I'm not going to go through that, but however, we scroll a bit down. This is what we're going to do. But if you want to run this on your computer, you can. I just don't care to. I tried, but I just couldn't get it to work. This is also another documentation and also another documentation that relates to all this and links will be in the description. When we go to the Google Docs and try to click on this first link, and this is what we're trying to get, it will not work. So I will get you the proper link right here. And again, that will be in the description. So get PuTTY installed. And once we get um, PuTTY open and the first thing what you want to do is type in the host name, which for you is going to be 192.168.1.1. And that's when your Nighthawk is plugged in um, from USB to the computer. And the port number is going to be 5510. Then you're going to select other and make sure Telnet is selected. Hit open. And it's going to look like a black screen and it's waiting for you to input commands. So what we want to do is enlarge this a bit. Go to appearance, change, then to 20. That should be fine. Yeah, that's that's better. So the first command is what we want to run is at exclamation point open lock question mark. Do not copy the the quotes here. Just copy the stuff that's inside the quotes. Oh, and um, for me, it's actually 10.168.1.1, then the port 5510, then Telnet. For you, it's 192.168.1.1. Uh, My apologies. Then appearance. Then to 20, apply. I'm going to close out of this. And now let's go ahead and type in that command. Now, this is what we're going to be needing. So let's go ahead and copy that. So all you got to do is just highlight it. And you don't even have to right click it. If you right click right now, it's going to paste that right into the terminal. Um, so it's already been copied. Make sure you don't leave that pasted in. So now we're on this link. We want to fork and run and fork and run. And so it's gonna open up, um, load up a new website or the repository for it. And it won't take too long. It's usually instant, but I guess for this case example, it's gonna take a little bit. All right, now that it's fully loaded, what we want to do is we want to go towards our shell and let me open up a notepad. Um, okay. Now that we have a notepad open up, let me paste uh, our string, what we got from the terminal. And what we want to do is get this command. We scroll down. We want this command right here. Paste that in. Get this text and replace it with this. And copy this. And run this command. So basically, it gave us a key that we need to crack. And now that we're cracking it. Oops, that's that's not what it is. Sorry. We, we want it back on, on here. And it's going to ask us, uh, blah, 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 blah. Just hit Y. 
And now it will spit this out right here. And now we paste that in and now it accepted it. So you'll see it hit twice. Don't worry about that. That's completely normal. Next thing what we want to do is go back towards the tutorial. Uh, okay. So we want to request an unlock. And now once we have our IMEI, let me copy this. So your IMEI, for example, could be this, right? And so what we want to do is get the IMEI, paste it right here. Then after each two digits, add a comma. And on the last digit, add the zero at the end. Just, just a zero, nothing else. So it'll look something like this. So now what we're gonna do is paste that in towards the terminal. Uh, before I do that, let me make a backup of the IMEI that I have on my Nighthawk. Okay, I made my backup. And so this is the example IMEI that we're gonna put in. Paste that in, hit enter. Then we're gonna hit, uh, or we're gonna type in ATI. And here's our new IMEI that's been put in. Now to save that, what we wanna do is type in AT exclamation point reset and hit enter. And now it's gonna reboot the Nighthawk. So we just lost the connection. But once it's back up, we're gonna type in ATI again, just to verify that it is on it. And we're also gonna check on the web GUI as well. So now our Nighthawk is back up and running. What we can do is go back on towards our existing terminal with Putty and it'll say reset session. Go ahead and do that and type in ATI, hit enter, and it'll show that our current IMEI is that. And once we go towards our uh, Nighthawk web GUI and go to AT&T Wi-Fi status, and it shows our IMEI right here. And I'll just go ahead and refresh that, refresh it again. So it's not like, hey, you inspect element. Nope, it's right here, right here. Done, done deal. Um, so that is basically it of how you change an IMEI on the Nighthawk M, uh, MR1100. And so you can always change your uh, IMEI back to its original um, IMEI if you wanted to. Uh, so just make sure you keep a backup of the original IMEI. So we're basically at the end of the video, which I wanted to talk about how to get unlimited data through AT&T and their iPad plan for uh, fairly cheap, which is going to be um, 20 bucks to $35 a month for unlimited data. Um, this video I made a while back and I need to update this description because this method is kind of working, but not really. Because if you go towards, um, if you try to sign up through the prepaid account, they no longer do that. And uh, like you could go through the prepaid, but they do not offer the unlimited data with uh, the iPad on AT&T. So the only way to get that is on a postpaid account, which I strongly recommend read thoroughly on this website. Links will be in the description. Um, but this video that I've did, uh, the only things that I'm going to be pulling from it is uh, taking the iPad Pro TAC number and how to generate an IMEI, which is a little bit in the beginning of the video. Um, but this is something that you could still watch, still view just for some educational purposes. But uh, to get that um, plan, go to this website. I have n There's no affiliation um, with me and the people who make this website. It's just really informative for you to uh, for you to view to get the unlimited data plan or the unlimited tablet plan. So, yeah, that's it for this video. If you like, like it share it, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.
Thank you for sticking around. Please feel free to watch my other videos. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow my social media. If you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon or send in a donation of any amount with PayPal. It really helps out with post-production, equipment, food in my belly, and also continue making free content for you guys. Links in the description. Y'all take care, and thank you once again.